Hi, I'm Tom Long. Today I'm going to be reading to you from Paul's epistle to the Ephesians, chapter 5, uh, verses 15 through 20. Be very careful then how you live, not as unwise, but as wise, making the most of every opportunity, because the days are evil. Therefore, do not be foolish, but understand what the Lord's will is. Do not get drunk on wine, which leads to debauchery. Instead, be filled with the Spirit. Speak to one another with psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs. Sing and make music in your heart to the Lord. Always giving thanks to God the Father for everything. In the name of our Lord, Jesus Christ. Paul warns us to take heed, to look to how we live. Why? In the previous verses, he had described how God's grace took us out of darkness and into the light. Live, here is a translation of the word that literally means to walk. And Paul is saying, mind your step. Don't put your foot down on the wrong path or walk in the wrong direction. Don't walk in an unwise way. Walk in the way of wisdom. Know God's word. Live out a godly character, bearing the fruits of the Spirit of God. Make your plans in accordance with God's wisdom and will, and then execute those plans in His grace. Seize every opportunity to be wise. The world, the flesh, and the devil of this evil age seek to harm you and those you are called to help. And that word evil there, that's, that's what that's referring to. It's not evil like evil in character. It's not saying the days are evil like they have an evil character. It's saying the days are hurtful, they do damage. Pursue God's will for your life. Don't give alcohol or drugs control of your body and your character. Let the Holy Spirit completely fill you up so that you can walk in God's will. I love this next bit. When we are filled to the brim with God's Spirit, what, do we, what happens? We are to sing psalms, that is Hebrew verse, hymns, religious songs in general, and songs, odes, just plain old singing. I sing a lot of different kinds of songs in this room. Hymns and praise songs, especially Christmas songs, but I also sing popular songs, songs that express what it means to be human. Our music, like our hearts, should look up to God and reach out to our fellow humans. We are to do this, Paul says, speaking to one another. Our songs of thanksgiving, praise, and worship are to include sharing that music with one another. Also, our heart is to sing and play instruments to the Lord. Our music is a way of giving thanks to God for who God is and what God has done for us. Literally, the Greek in verse 19 says, your heart is to sing and play to the Lord. This pairing of singing to, to one another and from our hearts to the Lord informs us that our worship, while personal and sometimes private, is to also have a corporate aspect. Scripture constantly leads us back to the theme of how being our best in Christ means helping others to also enjoy their best life. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye, all ye lands. Serve the Lord, the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Hallelujah, glory, hallelujah, praise God. 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 Hallelujah, make a joyful noise unto the Lord. 